Growth was founded in 1974, which in the San Francisco Bay Area is a time of social change, of hippies, of freedom of expression. And the really core philosophy here is this belief from the hippies that everyone can be creative. And so the, this combination of people with developmental dis disabilities and believing that they could be creative and putting them into an artistic environment that was outside an institution or hospital was really fundamentally groundbreaking. To us, it, it seems like a simple matter of human rights right now, um, but it, it wasn't then. It was quite um, unusual. Then I'm going to be—I'm uh, going to become an architect. So I want to be a designer, architect designer, because I want to do uh, peace towns. So, so, so put people's lives back in the in the spirit. So put the peace in the world. Sounds good. Thank you. The, um, the background is a, is a uh, counter. You know, there's a t uh, top of the counter. And then the uh, picture there are of um, some fashion magazines. The thing that I find the most interesting about creative growth is what happens in the studio. And the studio is really a laboratory for aesthetic exploration. I think that coming in and watching people who might have been locked in rooms for most of their life or institutionalized or don't have any form of communication, being given the opportunity to be creative and to communicate aesthetically is a fundamentally phenomenal experience and it speaks to what it's like to be a human being. So Ari came to Creative Growth with an obsession um, around KISS and around rock and um, that kind of thing, and she was drawing KISS figures. KISS. Yeah, KISS. Yeah, I mean, I call it the Harlequin. It's actually this clock plate face, which is the male figure that's always red, and this woman that looks more like the KISS figure that's always green. Um, everything's androgynous, there are no rules, it can go back and forth, they can be mixed red and green, but pretty much um, this red and green figure is the consistent part of her work. Don't break it. B-R-E-R-A-K-E. Break. Break. Crack the light bulb. So he'll start with a word and it's always linked to another word. They're like these touchstone words that he has and they surround hardware, you know, hardware items and names of people that he knows and things that happen at barbecues like tiki torches and things like that. And it's just like this conversation that layers and layers and sometimes um, you, the ground gets completely blacked out and you can't see anything and other times you get this kind of lacy look. You know, do you like this painting because, you know, he painted it with his feet or because, you know, she doesn't speak or do you like it because of the paint? Well, of course, the art comes first. If you don't like the art, there's not a dialogue to have. Beautiful piece on her. Beautiful piece on her.